Hello and welcome to Animal Watch and this week we're talking Blue Bay Shepherds. I'm truly stoked as today I have been invited to the birthplace of the Blue Bay Shepherd. This dog breed has been one of my most requested films on Animal Watch and today I finally get to meet them in person and also their founder, the lovely Vicky Spencer of Southern Breeze Kennels. You want to see some of the Blue Bays? I would love to Come see on, the we got Blue a couple, Bays. we got a couple over here in the yard. They're only a couple weeks apart. They're 10 months old. Of course, this is a male, the larger one, <laughs> and a female. This What's is Asher. This is Asher. Oh, Tiffany is Asher's owner. Hello. And that's Promise. That's a little female. Actually, she's pretty big for a female, but uh, unfortunately, Asher is so large, he dwarfs her. Come here, Vision. Come oh, see she's Mama. she's beautiful. Vision, did you get to come visit? Did you get to come visit? She says, yes. I love to visit. I love to visit everybody. And Vision is actually a second generation Blue Bay. Finally, we're bringing you the Blue Bay Shepherd, which is my most requested video. So we've flown out to Florida, haven't we, to meet you, Vicky? Yes. And your dogs in the flesh. The name Blue Bay Shepherd, is that because the dogs are blue? talking to a good friend of mine. He said, well, since you live in Palm Bay, why don't you just call them Blue Bay Shepherds? <laughs> and and it was it was perfect. Yeah. So it was, you know, just, you know, the color, the type, and where I was living when I started their developing. Blue Bay Shepherd mm -hmm. um, hasn't been around for long. <laughs> so this next March in 2019 will be, um, what, seven, seven years. Now these here are foundation animals. These are German Shepherds. These are not Blue Bay Shepherds. These were the first two that produced the first litters of bluebells. Wow. So you've got your foundation yeah. shepherds. Yes. And then on the other side of the breeding, you have wolf dogs. Yes. And, and, um, and as these are brother and sister, German shepherds from the same litter, my first two breedings were brother and sister wolf dogs. So I paired her with the brother wolf dog, Dylan. A lot of people know Dylan. And I paired him with Slate, Dylan's sister. Um, and they produced the first two litters. Of course, those two litters were double first cousins, <laughs> which is why I never chose to breed a puppy from this litter to a puppy from this litter. Then I incorporated a few more of my, of my blue coat wolf dogs and uh, you know, tried to incorporate some, some new lines of shepherds. I, I, wanted to stay with, uh, I wanted to stay with the blue coated shepherds. I did want the shorter ears. I wanted the old world style, which is why they came from Europe. Yeah. Um, they of course, seem to, because some they seem to breed have them. Yeah. Terrible hits these yeah. days. Well, they, well, they, they breed the them with that with that angle, and I wanted the straight backs. Yeah. Uh -huh. And then, of course, going back yeah. in the German yeah. Shepherd's history, yeah. uh -huh. we know at some right. point they the too were, were wolf, well, dogs. wolf dogs. Alsatian too. wolf dogs. Yes. Yes. The original wolf dogs he used uh -huh. with these two. Yeah. They were blue in color. Blue. Were they, they were as blue well. in color. The eastern timber is so far that I know of, with what research I've done and all my friends, it's the only subspecies of wolf that's ever had a blue coat. The thing that's quite fascinating is some of the blue wolf dogs will actually end up going pretty much completely white. But they phase, they phase like a, like a black wolf yeah. would phase. They get lighter and lighter yeah. and they get the silvers and the whites and stuff yeah. in them. And um, you, you can tell, can't you, when, when wolf dogs are quite a uh, higher content because they'll be phasing out. Yeah, they'll more. be phasing out. The idea with the Blue Bay Shepherds right. mm -hmm. is that they, they look like a wolf. Right. They've got this incredible right. blue mm -hmm. color but they can be in your house and they'd be amazing companions, right. trainable, right. Mm -hmm. confident. One of my most important things has been temperament. I want to keep the wolf look as much as I can, but I'll sacrifice some of the, some of the look um, with you know more of the shepherd look for you know for that that trainability yes. because you when you hear about people getting rid of their animals no, they don't get don't rid of their animals that. because yeah. oh my dog's ears were just too big I just couldn't take that I had to get rid of no, my it's dog because they couldn't my dog, dog was, was aggressive yeah. I couldn't handle my dog my dog was escaping all the time you know uh, it, yeah. those are the reasons people get rid of their yeah. animals well that, that sounds so temperament personality character yeah. is definitely the most important. But these guys are German Shepherds. When yeah. I picked the Shepherds, there again, I, I didn't want ones that, that had the 
predisposition to to want to be guardy. Uh, these guys are nine years old. They've never barked at a human. What sort of person would be the ideal person to have a Blue Bay Shepherd? Because it's such a new breed, every litter is a little different. There's a point where they get a little too intense that I'm not really comfortable calling them Blue Bays. But what I really try to do is I try to match what the people are looking for with the individual pup. They're gonna do much better if they're with a family that does spend a lot of time with them and doesn't leave them alone a lot. They do enjoy an active lifestyle, uh, even though they have, you know, they have a side of them that they're quite content to, you know, lay around and watch TV with you, but they, they need that outside activity. The females, I would say, typically go, typically go between 70 to maybe 85 pounds. Uh, some of them do get up to 100. I have a 100 pound one here. And the males, uh, I would say average, 85 to maybe 105. Uh, we do have a couple that's gotten up to 130. Asher, which we met earlier, he's he's really big. Yeah. I mean, he's quite tough yeah. to control on the lead. You need to be yeah. strong. Mm -hmm. What would be your ideal percentage? We've had quite a few of the second gens that have embarked at 12 to 16 percent that look very wolfy. My friend a couple blocks away has a litter. The content should be 6 percent wolf. Um, they're not and looking too. Low. Yeah, they're not looking yeah. too different from the other blue bays. So we're going to see. Yeah, like I said, they're only three actually. weeks. I think so we're going. Really yeah, cool. we're going to keep yeah. very close, very close tabs on these pups to see just how German Shepherdy or Wolfy yeah. they are. Talk to me about Kurgan because Kurgan has his own um, channel. Yes, yes, he does that. And, and that a guy, very famous blue and, bay shepherd of yours. And that guy, yeah, that guy does wonders with him. I mean, he, you know, he's got a great life. Kurgan's got a great life. Vision is from the same litter that Kurgan is and now Kurgan's got his own YouTube channel and I featured him before in one of my previous videos and I'm meeting Kurgan's sister look so Vision go hi Kurgan wow I never realized that if you want to um, check out Kurgan's yeah. channel you can click on the information box yeah. at the top of the screen and that will take you there um, Kurgan's got an amazing channel and you can see what it's like to actually live with a Blue Bay Shepherd um, he goes hiking with his owner every single day and you get a wonderful insight into his life after speaking with Vicky about the origins of the breed I was delighted to be invited to meet some of the dogs who have gone into the foundation of the Blue Bay Shepherd line including some mid and higher content wolf dogs. Annika we're going to go in now to um, Vision's enclosure. You get to meet uh, her mate. This will be an example of uh, breeding the Blue Bay now back to uh, a, a wolf dog. They do have a tendency to to show some timidness, but when we've crossed them with the with the shepherds, that yeah. that seems to go away because they're yeah. even though they have a timid, it, it's more of a shy, timid nature. They're not terrified yeah. of people, um, but they're very, uh, you know, once once they earn your trust, they're they're yes. very affectionate and actually very gentle. They're not even like to see how exuberant she is, and you know, she's a a little rough with her loving, and he's very very gentle. So she's and, a uh, she's wolf dog. She's a wolf dog. Yes. And um, and uh, this is a tracker. He's an AKC, German Shepherd. This is the original um, way that I, that I started with the first Blue Bays, was the wolf dog from the Southern Breeze Blue Lines to a pure German Shepherd. Okay. Oakley is my ideal dog, I've decided, or wolf dog, I should say. She is beautiful. I love her, I love her personality. Look how cute she is. <laughs> Slade is a wolf dog. She's uh, 63%. She was the color of this when she was born, it's completely solid blue. And of course, as she's gotten older, she's 13 now. As she's gotten older, she phases out every year. She gets lighter and lighter. She's got the kind of green, yellow eyes. And it's been wonderful so. meeting you today Me and too. your dogs. Yeah. I absolutely love yeah. them. And if you enjoyed this episode, please give me a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel by clicking that button in the bottom corner. And remember to tune in every week where I'll be bringing you some exciting episodes on wolves, wolf dogs, 
animal rescue, wildlife and conservation. Bye for now. If you would like to find out more about the Blue Bay Shepherd, the official website is www.bluebayshepherds.weebly.com. Thank <laughs> you.